I see him, he's camping. Players are down 5 HP, 5 HP. He has no shield at all. I don't know where the f Nice. GG's. Welcome back everyone. We are back today with another Ultimate Zim Apex Settings video, but this time on Apex Legends. Before we get started, I wanted to help everyone out in the Zim community by saying this. Just because someone posts a how-to video for the Zim for a specific game doesn't make them right. In saying that, and playing devil's advocate, I could very well be wholly wrong about everything I say. But if you check all my previous Zim Apex tutorial videos, you'll know that 50,000 people can't be wrong. I'm bringing this up because before I start any video, I always research streaming platforms to see what content is out there and what people are saying. I've seen many Zim Apex videos on Apex Legends and there are a lot of discrepancies, a lot of untruths. Virtually people out there wanting to put out content on the Zim Apex reviews, but not knowing a whole lot about how the features of the Zim or the actual game work. So. Today we're going to explore my Zim Apex manager settings, in-game settings, and a few other tips for you to help on your Zim Apex, Apex Legends journey. The gameplay I'm going to show you is from my first time playing Apex Legends on PS4. Me and my squad won four out of six games, and despite switching back and forth between PC and console, I appreciate the difference in gameplay between the two platforms. So. Let's get into the video and remember to like and subscribe. It is the only way I can continue to bring you guys more Zim Apex setup videos for other games. Our first Zim Apex video reached 50,000 views, but I'm not sitting on 50,000 subscribers. So if the importance isn't understood, let me break it down. In order to keep getting my in-depth Zim videos highest ranked and on top of other inferior videos being put out, I need you to subscribe and like so that when someone types in Zim Apex or Zim Settings, Apex Legends, whatever. In the search field, my video is the first one you'll see. That's the best way you can help me help the community. Consider a collateral. If you went into the description and copied and pasted my settings into your Zim Manager, consider subscribing, it's free. In these videos, I like to show the Apex Manager settings first because that's the first thing you should be adjusting. I'm going to keep the settings and a link in the description that you can download and insert into your own Apex Manager as a start. If someone tells you that, you know, the settings are personal preference and, you know, they don't share their settings with you, that's, that's malarkey. That's crap. Okay? Everyone needs a base to start with. Everyone. You don't just plug everything in and then start running and expect everything to be smooth. You need some starting point, and I understand that. Throughout this video, I'm going to pause to explain some things that help new users get the most out of setting up because these are the most commonly asked questions in the Zim community. First, the Zim Apex in all preceding models is a piece of hardware shaped like a USB drive that plugs into your console. And it also has a USB plug on the back of it. That's where the USB hub plugs into. Your devices like mouse, keyboard, and controller plug into the hub. If you pay special attention to the hub, you'll see beveled designators for the ports, starting with one dot, then two dots, then three dots. I remember the order of assignment with the acronym MKC, which stands for Mouses Killed Console. Plug your mouse into dot one, plug your keyboard into dot two, uh, and, and plug your controller into dot three. I'm going to skip setting up the Zim Apex and go right into the Zim Apex settings and how to copy other settings into your configuration. When you are looking at settings in its rawest text form, you simply copy everything from the beginning bracket, which looks like a greater than symbol, three of them, to the end bracket, which looks like three less than symbols. And in your Apex Manager settings, simply click the Paste button. Make sure your mouse is set to 1000 DPI for these settings. There is no definite DPI for everyone. The only thing you need to know is that lower DPIs offer more aim assist and higher DPIs offer less aim assist. Also, everyone has their own style of mouse movement play. Some people play by using their arm to make a lot of their movements, and some people play with more wrist movement. 
Whichever way you play, make sure you adjust it accordingly until you find the Goldilocks settings that work for you. The in-game settings are not that hard to understand. Under the gameplay options, the only settings I actually changed there were the chat to text features, which is good when your sound effects are really loud. It's an instant way to read what was said by someone else. Under the controller options, change the crouch button to hold as opposed to toggle. Keeping toggle on is a stupid and impractical way to die. Next, head on over to your sensitivity and make sure it's set to insane and sensitivity ADS to same. Do not play with your sensitivity in the game outside of that. Do not lower it. If someone tells you it helps them with their gameplay, that's simply ignorant. Adjust all your sensitivities in the Apex Manager. That's how this is designed. It's okay to have a higher hip than it is to your ADS. The whole point of ADS is to slow down the rate of movement and focus. Also remember, this is the controller settings, not the mouse settings. So under dead zone, change it to none. I'll explain this as simply as I can. The analog stick on your controller is a peg that sticks out of your controller in a per perpendicular fashion. And by your action of continually pressing down on it over time, the wear and tear of it can create a drifting analog stick. So sometimes without pressing anything, your character will move a direction or your view will shift. The dead zone option limits the initial point of pressure on your analog stick to prevent this. Also, sometimes in anticipation during a firefight, you may inadvertently move because of a little bit of pressure on the analog stick. Increasing the setting stops that movement. Because of the precision of a mouse, you will only stifle your movement, especially if you play on a really low sensitivity. The last thing I change is in the video options, and that's the field of view. Everyone has a different preference for FOV. Some people like it high, some people like it low. This is personal preference. Find a setting that works for you. My FOV is set to the highest number. My last bit of advice to you is to be patient. Nothing happens overnight, and trust me, playing with a Zim won't make you a celebrity unless you're really good at it and you love yourself because more often than not, people hate Zim users and liken us to cheaters. So stay persistent in your quest to find your perfect settings and don't let the haters get to you. If you want more Zim videos, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know what game you want to see settings for. Also, I've linked the previous videos in the description that have more in-depth information and may help you get started for Fortnite or Call of Duty. That's all I have today. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, be kind to each other, and stay frosty. Peace. Nice. I got a wraith down. I'm getting shot from the mountain, though. Yep. Just, I hit him a little bit. How much? And we need to get that wraith up the wind. I'm gonna come near you. Yeah, what a, oh, she got over the hill, bro. Can you call I'm your I'm gonna chuck some nades over there. I, I don't have it yet. I'm, I chucked some nades over there, though. I don't think they'll reach us. I got oh, it. Let's I got go, baby. Nice. Push up, push up. Oh, shit, right here. Let me look real quick if I can. Oh my god, they're both one shot, bro. Uh, push, push, push. Oh no, what the f I can't move. One left, one left. She raves, she raves that way. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna heal up real quick. You're good, you're good. Res if you can. Okay. Oh, we won. <laughs> Get my finish kit. Right here. Got her. Nice. I was literally about to so <laughs> cancel my Phoenix can or you saying? My bro. Two in a row? Um, Guys feeling repulsor? Sure. Yeah. Are you joking me? Get on the roof? Hey, Omega, can you go? Down here. I'll pop some smoke Pop some smoke. I'm going inside. Oh, jeez. You want to heal up, heal up? They all know some shit. Help! Oh, 
more, more. There's more. Keep murking, keep murking, boys. One tap, one tap, one tap. There's one left. Res, res, res. I'm gonna res, I'm gonna res. I got him, I, I got him, I got him, you res. One squad left. Oh, grenade, grenade, dip, dip. Low, 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 low. I gotta heal up, I gotta heal up. Mega is coming. Watch the stairs. I think you can get the rest, you can get the rest. I think he dips outside. Coming. Yep, he's coming up the stairs. He's coming up right now. He's coming up right now. I'm down. Got him. Reloading. Hold tight. I got your back. That was scary. <laughs> One team left, everyone heal. He was probably over here by these buildings. Either or. Oh, we'll wait. Let's see. Oh, we'll have to come down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pushing over there. Don't push. Let them come to us, bro. We have high ground. Is it one or I thought it was is it one or more? I saw two. I hit him with the nade. Hit him with the nade. Push. If you hit him with the nade, then push. The nade's GG. You both got masters. They're hiding in a house. Yeah. Dell more nades in that hoe if you can. I got no more now. I'm pushing him inside. I hit him. Oh, I got him. Nice one, I got. What are they talking about? <laughs> Nate. Yeah, they're camping.